No kitchen intrusion money. A little bit personal. This whole part seems story relevant. They could have voiced it. That beard. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those neck ankles. Those especially give it away. I could have another one of those turkey jam cereal sandwiches while I'm here. You can stop gesturing at me. Hey, Agent Honor, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just waiting to make a phone call. We might be done here now, actually. Oh, the dinner menu. Oh wait, it's just a trading card. <laughs> Weird. Seems like they might have ran out of ideas for some cards. Like, hell, I don't know. How about the diner menu? Maybe we have to talk to Olivia. There's something I'd like to confirm with you, Olivia, if that's okay. Yes. Well, so long as it doesn't take too long. First, what were you and Nick doing on the night of the murder? I was here in the diner. Nick said he was going to the bar for a couple of drinks. Does he go to the bar often? Leaving you to hold up the fort? N yes. He says he enjoys the conversation with Diane. I thought they went drinking again together that night. Do the three of you ever go drinking together? Well... You see, I'm really not into art. And your husband is well-versed in the arts, then, I take it? Oh, yes. Um, looking at art and talking about it is his way of relaxing. <laughs> People just aren't what they seem. Like a certain someone who was into punk rock ten years ago. You are absolutely right, Emily. But you can be an art lover and a liar at the same time. One more thing, Olivia. You just said that you aren't interested in art. That's right. And... So, how come I bumped into you at the art gallery? Didn't seem like Nick brought you there. You were there alone. I... Well... I like trees, is the thing. That's why I went there. Surely you'd be better off in the forest, rather than an art gallery, then. Uh... I think you went to the gallery not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? <gasps> That's a Phoenix Wright objection right there. I want to answer. Or perhaps this isn't the right place to ask. M meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. Key to backyard. They close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait? It's like 12 hours from now. I might bore you, Emily. Might run out of things to talk about. Agent York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Okay, then I'm going to make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Okay, sounds good. See you later, then. Back about Olivia. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip columns. Well, it seems we can't spend the whole day with Emily, but that's okay. I don't like your smile. <laughs> 
So, now we can do a lot of stuff, actually. Let's go get lunch while we're here. Ooh. I think this is where we're supposed to go, but we can't go there until tonight. Anyone know what this is? It seems kind of radioactive. Maybe you don't want to eat at this diner. Just a guess. So we'll go grab some lunch. <laughs> See Emily again. And then we can go to the convenience store. Buy some stuff, because we've got like $8,000 <laughs> and not much to spend it on. But for now, lunch is the priority. Let's take a quick peek, I think. Hold on. Oh, I thought that was a cat. <laughs> Guess it's just a shadow of the flag. I can get my daily creeper bonus. Aw. It's empty. No one to creep on. Oh, Kason, what's up? Oh, he must be driving. He's going kind of fast. No, oh, Kason. Damn. I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene where the dog comes by and takes all the bones away. Just not sure when that happens. Oh, he stopped. He's probably at a red light, but he's going to keep going as I approach. Just to taunt me. Unless he stopped somewhere, which I think he did. Awesome. Kason! And dog, stop. Take the bones. Willie. I'm a ghost! How are you doing, boy? Hey, Willie, wait! Where are you going? You got me, Kason. He got all of my bones. Willie just ran off with some bones I was carrying as evidence. Bones? I can't really go into the details, but I need them. York, that's not good. Willie loves bones. He's a dog. And carrying bones around with him is like, well, like throwing a blonde in a bikini into a boy's locker room. It's almost like you were asking for trouble. Sorry, but you're just going to have to forget about your bones. I better run after him now. I'll see you later. Forget about them. If I gave up that easily, then I wouldn't be a good federal agent. Would I, Zach? We're going to have to search his house, Zach. <laughs> Let's get back those precious bones. Weird. It's especially weird that York was carrying around like a full skeleton with him. As far as I know, we don't get those bones back, but what we do get... Zack, I'm glad I don't need a warrant to search a doghouse. What? I don't want the bones back. I don't want that either. I was promised an infinite ammo magnum. Really don't remember getting all these bones back. Cause I'm pretty sure there's nothing that comes from it. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus too. We'll have to give Willie something to make up for this another time. Is it a? Yes, it is. Infinite Ammo 357 Magnum. Weird. I really don't remember getting the bones back. But okay. Side mission complete. That was simple enough. Usually, I get the gun when I go back to the hotel, because that's where Kaysen stays. So you can always count on his truck being right there. Hell yeah. This gun is powerful, too. I'm happy I got this. I ran kind of far, didn't I? Running for probably the most powerful gun in the game. I'd say it's worth it. That's going to make a lot of stuff later on a lot easier. There are some really annoying enemies that would usually take a lot of damage. But with this beauty, it's not going to take too long anymore. Though I still like my machine gun, so I think an infinite ammo machine gun 
would also be beneficial to us. Raiding the police station with my Magnum. Don't worry guys, I'm just here for lunch. Oh, what? Come on, game. It thanks said lunch from nine to whatever. Does that just cancel out? Hold on. Lunch is over here now. You guys tried to keep me away from the lunch party. Ain't happening. Hello. Uh Yes, please. I don't know if I can wait a full jiffy or not. Thomas. Have you ever eaten Emily's cookie? <laughs> what? Hey. What exactly are you asking? I was just wondering what you thought of her cooking, that's all. You know, perhaps an unbiased opinion of one who is himself a fantastic chef. So how about it? Have you eaten her cooking? I have. Just once. And how was it? Well, that's not an easy question. Honesty is the best policy. How can I say this? Cut it out, Agent York. He's pleading the fifth. He has the right to remain silent. Don't try and force him to say something. He has the right to an attorney. George, and what are you trying to say? Anything I say may be used in a court of law. Let's just let the topic of Emily's cooking go, okay? I can't do that, George. <laughs> I want to know. He's persistent. This is just my curiosity. So tell me, Thomas. Well, for lack of a better word, let's just say it's Amazon-style cooking. Ah, that was well said. I'm impressed. <laughs> Obviously not a compliment, though. Uh, oh. oh, you were lacking words, were you? <sighs> Let's get back to work. That was a bad question, Zach. I fear I've ruined lunch. Now on to shopping. Get some new clothes, I'm not... Especially fond of this suit. So let's see what punk rocker Keith can sort out for us. Like I said, there's three mystery map things. Which kind of has like a dark story behind them. And then we go to the location of the story. And it's some kind of like battle arena thing. At the end of which we are rewarded with an infinite ammo gun. So I believe the first one is always available, so let's go buy that as well. Freeze! There's no one in there. Ghost cars all over town. 